Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we have the best whiskies of June 2020 and well half a year is over and uh, we're hurrying for the Christmas season. <laughs> <laughs> it's really really hot outside. <laughs> Nobody thinking about Christmas yet <laughs> but um, yeah some of the whiskies are really, really good. I would have uh, imagined that most of the whiskies that come out during the summer uh, are not that good, but uh, we had a, a really good choice this month. Uh, they are not all that new. So yeah, some of them are not Talisker new. Talisker yeah. 15 year old is uh, came out already last year, I think. Yeah, during the Christmas season, <laughs> 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 right before. <laughs> yeah, so we start on your side with the Tamnavulin Sherry finish. That's a incredible, inexpensive bottle for the content. It's the Tam Navulin distillery, not too popular, uh, but they're producing this whiskey as an extension to their normal 12 year old, and they're filling it from three different types of sherry casks. So very complex, very intense, and not that expensive. Mm -hmm. So a little jam, is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we have one bottle that wouldn't have made it on the cask if you would have only been the judge because uh, that's what I would have tasted and uh, I love the 1770 rye. It's one of my favorite and this 1776. is 1776 rye <laughs> and this one is combined with a uh, sherry cask. So it's straight rye whiskey finished in PX sherry casks. PX, so a little sweet. So yeah, not just a little sweet. They they went full on sweet, but uh, they do add probably a little corn as well and mm -hmm. uh, finish. So the first cask were virgin oak casks. So it got a lot of cask influence, got a lot of rye, got a lot of uh, sherry. sherry in there. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's one of these extreme whiskies. So it's not one of these nuance whiskies where you try to find the 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 best flavors, the little nuance flavors. But it's it's. Uh, it's heavily spicy, it's heavily sweet, and it's heavily fruity. And we published this video on July 4th. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is the brand, uh, which is the oldest brand in the US, 1776. Yeah, it came but out in the end of 1770. So it's, it's kind of in the 1780s, uh, it, it was really established. But it established. wasn't produced continuously. No, it was produced continuously. Between Quite a time. And the family, it was a long time in family business, uh, mm -hmm. in family hands still, with inherited down the, through the yeah, generations, but now it has been sold. Okay. Yeah. The next one is uh, um, a standard edition. Yes. A new standard edition. A new standard edition. Tvetekain came out with kind of a standard edition in the middle of what they had. They had one... Um, a very young one and one 20 old years, 28 years old, and now they had one in the middle with 16 years, and it's a good one. You would have liked it. You should try a glass because it's uh, um, ex bourbon casks and then finished in sherry and port wine casks. Mm. So it's a uh, double finishing. Yep. And ah, take the 1776 a little back because there's shade falling on. On the feta Karen, you can't read it really. Yeah. Yeah, we need a second light. Yeah. Okay. So what I find uh, especially wonderful with this bottle is the special form yeah. on the neck or the top of the uh, bottle uh, because yeah. there's this little rim uh -huh. on the top, the ring, and this resembles the. Uh, type of the pot still where they have an outer water cooling where they spread water mm -hmm. out on the outside um, of the neck of the uh, pot still uh, so having kind of a open lumen still mm -hmm. something like that yeah Looks it's wonderful. really a steam bath in in that still house <laughs> okay <laughs> it's really hard hard to film <laughs> I, I was there when they had revisions Mm -hmm. So it was cool in it, and I missed it. I missed this ring. Afterwards, um, after you said, I, I looked at the pictures in our whiskey database at Fettercairn, and then I saw it. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's but it's not it's not really on the path to anywhere. You have to drive really off to the east coast mm -hmm. uh, in near the lowlands. Yeah. The next one that was really really good. Yeah, so the level in the bottle is quite low. <laughs> <laughs> On the so, why. <laughs> so it's the Lafroig 10 year old cast strength. And this is a whiskey, it comes out in batches. And we had batch number two, I think. Or no? Oh. It's older. It's a, uh, it's a batch number 12. 12, yeah. And uh, well, every batch will have its own cast strength. Mm -hmm. So it's a real cast strength. Not a high proof, and this one has 60.1, together with the extreme smokiness. That's really a, a big one, uh, but it's not that cheap. It's 70, 80, so it costs quite a lot. Mm -hmm. The last one was for me, the Talisker 15 years old from the uh, special releases. And uh, this is a... What? Do you manage that? Yeah. Uh, this is from the special releases uh, 2020, which came out in late 19, uh, 2019. And uh, this uh, is in between the 10 year old and the 18 year old. And this is wonderfully intense and has still this chili catch, but not too intense uh, in this point of view. And this one has High proof, probably cast strength. Yes, it's cash, natural cast strength at 57.3. So you get a little more. And I think this is one of the very, very few Talisker which have an eight sta statement and are cast strength. Mm -hmm. other, others have those 45.8, uh, which is not cast strength, of course. Yeah, that's it. Good. So, yeah. I, li I like the, the range we had. It's really strange that we got such a good range uh, during the summertime because usually you bring out whiskies during wintertime except for this one that, that actually came out during wintertime. Yeah, and I think <laughs> the Lefroig reached us quite a little late. So mm -hmm. this might be uh, have come out earlier. Mm -hmm. And the other ones, yes, I think they are. They, they came out yeah. during the summertime. Mm -hmm. But yeah. they are really good. So uh, if you find these ones, uh, we do recommend you have a try. Some of them might be a little expensive. But and some uh, are quite cheap. Some of them are quite cheap. So mm -hmm. um, have a look for them. Uh, look at the videos. If you, if you consider buying them, you should have a bit of a closer look at them if they match your flavor profile. And for everything else, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.